activate Kruger. Above a polluted, overpopulated Earth, there is a space station known as Elysium, where all the wealthy citizens of Earth have fled to preserve their way of life. Elysium is a paradise, in possession of medical technology that can not only heal almost any disease, but it can even reinvigorate a person with youth. A man named Max, played by Matt Damon, wants a ticket up to Elysium. He has an accident at work that gives him a lethal dose of radiation, giving him five days to live and five days to get up to Elysium. The good. The primary threat in this movie comes from a mercenary who is hired by the main antagonist. He is intimidating, unnerving, and probably the most fun of all the characters. Nothing to write home about, but the actors do a pretty good job. The very idea of Elysium sounds so tantalizing. With medical technology providing great health and eternal youth, I can see why there are people wanting tickets up to that place. The iffy. This movie takes place in a reality where robots are servants or workers that replace humans in a lot of areas. Up on Elysium, they're primarily butlers, which makes sense. To have them down on Earth as policemen also makes sense, but not quite as much. It does make sense because they're virtually unbeatable by any normal human standards. On the other hand, they also take the job of parole officers. The problem with that is that they're strict and non-negotiable. Sure, that doesn't make him that different from parole officers, but at the same time, one of the characters is a victim of a misunderstanding, and a robot just can't comprehend that. The bad. The circumstances by which Max gets into his accident at work are incredibly cruel. The door to a radiation chamber in which the robots that they're building in the factory where Max works are to be given a dose of radiation for who the hell knows what kind of reason they need to do that. The door gets jammed from the inside. Max reports this to his boss. His boss tells him to go in and fix it. Max initially refuses to do this, but then the boss says, if you don't go in there, I'll fire you and get someone who will go in there. So Max goes in there and he fixes the jam. However, the door immediately seals shut and then the dose of radiation is delivered. So essentially, the boss said, get in there and die. I would be a little angrier if I weren't focused on a mistake made with that situation. I could have sworn earlier in the movie that there was a button of sorts on the outside of the chamber that would ignite the radiation charge. If that is the case, I'm not exactly sure why the radiation just fired itself. The idea of the rich moving up to Elysium and leaving everybody else on Earth to struggle for everything that's left of it? Yes, that is kind of a dick move, but it goes a little deeper than that. They seem to be outright unwilling to share any of their paradise with the people down on Earth. There are ships that try to fly up to Elysium, but they get blown up. On the grounds of illegal immigration and potential terrorism, I kinda get the idea, but it seems like a lot of the people that are focused on in this movie just want to use the medical technology to heal their terminal diseases and then they're probably cool with going back home. Sure, it'll be poverty, but at least they'll have their health. And on the subject of the medical stuff, there is one major, major plot hole near the end of the movie that, in addition to the one I pointed out earlier about Max's accident at work, could probably make it worth one of my detective reviews someday. The verdict? When it really gets down to it, there isn't much to say about Elysium. Just another one of those gritty science fiction action films that have been coming our way in recent times. This is Detective Steve, wishing Star Wars Episode Seven wasn't two years away. <laughs>